The Byron Shire Council has been criticised for letting an anti-vaccination campaigner use the Mullumbimby Civic Hall for an event. Immunisation supporters say it's a kick in the guts to local children who have lost their lives. He's the controversial conspiracy theorist with more than 10 million followers on Facebook. David Avocado Wolf is known worldwide for his strong anti-vaccination stance and tonight he'll be speaking in Mullumbimby. We would hate to see him um, talk uh, about vaccination in an area with such low vaccination rates as it is. Mullumbimby has Australia's lowest immunisation rate with more than 50% of the population unvaccinated. The Northern Rivers vaccination supporters are criticising the Byron Shire Council for allowing the event to be held. It's concerning that the council who also run immunisation clinics throughout the Shire would let an anti-vaccination proponent um, speak in Mullumbimby. But the council says there's no rules or regulations for the Civic Hall and won't cancel the event. At this point in time, we currently don't have a policy to say who can or who can't use the halls. Some locals agree. I think people are entitled to their own opinions about it. Free speech. It's what Anzacs are all about. It's what all the wars have been fought about for this country, for the right to free speech. The vaccination supporters don't. Where do you draw the line at providing someone a platform when it could potentially put the community at risk. Would the council have, um, would they have hired the hall out to a group that incites vi racial hatred or violence against women? Health professionals have also highlighted the importance of immunisation. It's not only for the individuals themselves but for the rest of the community. Adding a simple jab saves lives. Lucy Langtree, Prime 7 News.